It's easier than ever to start vlogging. All you need is the phone in your pocket and a YouTube channel, and you can start recording and sharing videos to your heart's content. That said, a good camera can help take your vlogs to the next level. Whether it's a full-featured mirrorless or DSLR camera for sit-down vlogging, an action camera to capture and share your extreme sports adventures, or a compact point-and-shoot to easily take on the go, there's no single best camera when it comes to vlogging, just as there's no single way to make vlogs. Though you will find hundreds or even thousands of them in the market, here are the top 5 best vlogging cameras, you will know why they are best after you watch the whole video about them. So let's get started. And don't forget to check the product link in the description. Number 1. Sony ZV-1S. If you don't want to settle for a GoPro but still want something simpler and smaller than an interchangeable lens camera, then a fixed lens point and shoot is a great middle ground. The Sony ZV-1 is like a fixed lens version of the Sony ZV-E10 above, and it falls around the same price range, except the lens is included, so you don't have to worry about extra expenses there. It's designed specifically for vlogging and has a lot of the same features as its interchangeable lens sibling. We're talking a fully articulated screen, dedicated recording button, solid internal microphone it's also significantly more portable. Of course, that smaller size means it has a smaller battery, meaning a much shorter battery life. It also tends to overheat when shooting for longer periods in 4K, but otherwise, this is one of the best compact vlogging cameras we've tested. Plus, you get the same specialized product showcase mode as the ZV-E10, along with generally good video quality, especially considering its smaller 1-inch sensor. The Sony ZV-1 is a compact vlogging camera for those who want to step up from shooting vlogs on their smartphone. It borrows its 1-inch sensor and top-notch autofocus system from the premium Sony RX107 and adds vlogging-friendly features like a fully articulated screen, a directional microphone with detachable windscreen, and a hot shoe to attach a flash or AUX mic. It's fitted with a built-in 24-70mm f-1.8-2.8 Zeiss lens, which gives you a bit of flexibility in framing and background blur. The Sony ZV-1 is great for vlogging. The camera's compact, lightweight design makes it easy to carry around handheld for long periods, and it feels comfortable to shoot with when held in a selfie position. The autofocus system can track faces without issue and features a couple of dedicated modes for product and animal vloggers. It also has a dedicated background defocus button to quickly give you a shallow depth of field. Unfortunately, there's a very noticeable rolling shutter effect in 4K, which can distort subjects when panning rapidly. Its battery life is also disappointingly short, and it can overheat during long recording sessions. Number 2. Fujifilm XS10. While the Fujifilm XS10 isn't cheap, it's one of the best crop sensor mirrorless cameras you can get for the price, so it's a great option for those who already have a taste for vlogging or are looking to upgrade their setup. There's a lot to love about it, from a large comfortable hand grip and sturdy weather sealed design to a fully articulated screen that lets you easily monitor yourself while vlogging. It's also one of the few cameras in its price range to feature in-body image stabilization. On top of that, you get a fair amount of frame rates to choose from, a slow motion recording mode in 1080p, and a solid AF system, so you or whatever your subject is can stay in focus. It isn't the most compact vlogging camera you can get, but it gives aspiring videographers and vloggers all the tools they need to get started and then some. If you're only going to do walk and talk style vlogs, you might want to consider a more compact option like the Sony ZV-1 below or even the GoPro Hero 9 Black, but all in all, the XS10 is the most versatile of the bunch and gives you a ton of bang for your buck for different styles of video work. The Fujifilm XS10 is good for travel photography. It delivers impressive image quality out of the box, with minimal amounts of noise even at moderately high ISO levels. The Fujifilm simulation modes can help give your shots a bit of added flair, though we don't currently test the camera with these modes enabled, and you can only apply them to JPG files. 
It features a very wide shutter speed range to help you capture both quick moments or take complex long exposure shots. It's also comfortable to use for the most part and feels impressively well built. Unfortunately, depending on your usage habits and choice of settings, its single charge battery life might be insufficient for a long day of shooting. Number 3. GoPro Hero 9 Black. If it's a cheap option you're after, the GoPro Hero 9 Black might be out of left field for vlogging, but it'll get the job done at a fraction of the cost of an interchangeable lens camera. You won't have as much flexibility as more expensive cameras on this list, especially since you can't adjust aspects of the camera's lens. That said, it's incredibly portable, and it has a little front screen that lets you see yourself while recording, so just pop it onto a selfie stick or monopod, and you've got yourself a neat and super discreet camera set up for outdoor walk and talk vlogs. While the GoPro Hero 10 Black and now the GoPro Hero 11 Black are newer and offer a few improvements, the Hero 9 is more of a steal for budget-conscious buyers, and it gets you most of the same features, including 5K video and fantastic image stabilization for super smooth footage. On the flip side, if the Hero 9 isn't as cheap as you'd like, the GoPro Hero 8 Black is even cheaper and still makes for solid portable vlogging camera, it just lacks a front screen to monitor yourself while filming. The GoPro Hero 9 Black is a compact camera designed for action video. You can easily mount it on a chest or helmet rig, and it's even advertised to be waterproof, though we don't currently test for this. You can also control all of the camera's features using the GoPro app on your smartphone, which is handy. Thanks to its impressive video stabilization performance, it can help smooth out camera shake. The GoPro Hero 9 is amazing for action video. You can easily mount this portable camera on your helmet or chest rig, and it's advertised to be waterproof, though we don't test for this currently. It also has an impressive video stabilization performance that helps to smooth out camera shake. It also offers a lot of frame rate options in FHD, so you can use it to record slow motion footage. Unfortunately, its video quality in 4K and FHD isn't the most impressive, so your footage isn't very sharp or detailed. Number 4. DJI Pocket 2. The DJI Pocket 2 isn't really like any of the other cameras on this list. This little camera comes with a built-in 3-axis stabilized gimbal, and the whole thing can fit in your back pocket. That alone makes this a worthy addition to the slew of vlogging cameras on the market these days. While the video quality isn't much better than what you might be able to pull off with a smartphone, the unique functionality of this camera makes it a great vlogging tool for those who want to capture smooth handheld footage. Aside from its gimbal, it also has a 1-slash-1.7-inch 1 1 sensor that gives it better low-light performance than most cameras of its size, and it can shoot at up to 60 frames per second in 4K, with a slow-motion capture mode in 1080p. There's also an active track feature that can automatically follow a subject as they move around, though it can be a little buggy. If you need smooth tracking, the original DJI Osmo Pocket is reportedly more reliable for that, but the Pocket 2's larger sensor and quality-of-life improvements make it a better all-around choice for those who need a stabilized handheld pocket camera. The DJI Pocket 2 is a handheld camera aimed at vloggers, replacing the DJI Osmo Pocket. Like its predecessor, it has a built-in 3-axis gimbal that offers exceptional image and video stabilization. It's also lightweight and portable, and it comes with a lot of frame rate options. The DJI Pocket 2 isn't bad for vlogging. It's incredibly portable and comes with a built-in 3-axis stabilized gimbal to reduce almost all camera shake when recording 4K or FHD video. You can use its screen for live view to monitor yourself and ensure you stay in frame, but the screen is quite small. You can also connect your phone to use as a larger screen, but we haven't tested this feature. Number 5. Sony Alpha A6400. If you can live without IBIS, the Sony Alpha 6400 will save you some money, especially when factoring in the cost of lenses, and is still a great vlogging camera. It's more portable than the Fujifilm XS10, which is a big plus if you plan on shooting on the go, but it doesn't have as comfortable or intuitive a design. The flip-up screen isn't ideal, either. 
While it'll still give you a view of yourself while recording, it's also easily blocked if you attach an external mic to the hot shoe. Design quirks aside, this is still a very capable video camera for the price. It's got a powerful sensor that can capture high-quality video, along with Sony's best-in-class autofocus tracking. Plus, unlimited recording times, so you're not limited to shooting shorter takes, and a solid battery life, all of which make this a very attractive camera for shooting vlogs. The Sony Alpha 6400 is a compact APS-C mirrorless camera. Thanks to its impressive image quality, it takes detailed, sharp images that are mostly free of visible noise, and its effective autofocus system helps keep your shot in focus as your subjects move. It also delivers impressive video recording quality in both 4K and FHD. Unfortunately, it can struggle to smooth out camera shake if you're recording in 4K, so it's not ideal for filming while walking or running. The Sony A6400 is great for travel photography. It has impressive image quality, so your pictures are sharp and free of visual noise. It's equipped with an excellent autofocus system that can track subjects without issue and its minimum shutter speed is suitable for long exposure shots. This camera is relatively lightweight, very well built, and comfortable to use, even for people with fairly large hands. It should also have enough battery life for long shooting sessions.